y'all. Welcome to Not Sure What's Cooking, coming to you from the Ozarks. And I'm not really sure what's going on with my hair today. It, when you have naturally curly hair, it frizzes and does whatever it wants. So anyway, what we're going to be making today is amazing Cajun pepper scoops. And my mouth is watering just thinking about it. Anyway, what you're going to need is you're going to need one box of cream cheese softened. I guess I already threw the box away, sorry. Okay, and then as much ham as you want, or you could use turkey. Um, this is a great recipe for like after Thanksgiving with your leftovers and uh, Christmas with your leftovers. Okay, and then you're going to need three sweet long peppers. One teaspoon of Creole, any kind of Creole you want, and then a tablespoon of parsley. You're going to need probably about, I don't know, I use about eight mushrooms. You could use more or you could use less. It really doesn't matter. And then you're going to need a quarter of an onion um, chopped up. Okay? So, and a half a stick of butter, which I've already put in here. Okay, so let's get this started. And if you've watched my other videos, then you know that I'm still not real familiar with this, you know, little burner here. So I'm still learning. But anyway, um, I do a lot of cooking in cast iron. And it's really a lot different tasting whenever you do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to saute the onions, the ham, and the mushrooms in the butter. So I've already got these chopped up, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. Mmm, hear that sizzling? Oh, all right. Now I'm going to take a quarter of this because I guess I should wipe that off so I don't put it back in there. And then you're going to just cut it up like kind of chunks. I do a lot of chunky um, cooking because I like to be able to taste it instead of little bitty pieces. I like to get that taste of the onions and stuff in it. All right. And put all of that quarter of an onion in there. Now, I'm going to put all of the ham in there. Then, I'm going to do the seasoning and just sprinkle it all around so it'll get mixed up with that butter, that yummy butter. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just saute these until they're um, a golden brown. Okay, and once you get it all um, sautéed, then I'll show you uh, what else to do, how we're going to do this amazing pepper dish. And in the meanwhile, go ahead and preheat your oven on 350. And this is like a, I don't know, maybe a 15 to 20 minute dish. It doesn't take long at all. And it's so delicious with all the leftovers. And in the meanwhile, go ahead and take your peppers and take all the seeds out. And I'm still learning how to cut these things. We're going to get all the seeds out. I've just never learned how to do that yet. So if y'all got any suggestions, I'd appreciate it. All right. And if y'all if y'all have seen my other videos, then you know that I keep all the seeds. Because I keep them to plant them for next year. All right. So you just cut them in two like that. Okay. Um, it's nice and sautéed now. Okay. If you can see this. And now what I'm going to do is with the cream cheese. I. First of all, I'm going to get that off of there. All right, now I'm going to take it and mix it. Can you see this? 
Look at here. I'm going to mix it all in there. Get all that yummy stuff. It's going to have a sauteed taste plus the, um, the Cajun taste. And I do cook a lot of Cajun stuff because um, that's what I kind of grew up on because both my parents were from Louisiana. Um, I'm not. I'm from Texas. But anyway, my dad taught me a lot. I started cooking whenever I was five years old. Got a chair and got up on the stove and was cooking potatoes. All right, see how it's looking right here? All righty. And after you stuff these, if you want to put some shredded cheese on it too, um, to make it even more cheesier, that would be good too. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. Get you a smaller spoon. And just, you know, start layering it in there. You know, everything's really good with cream cheese. That's what's so great about cream cheese is that you can use it to cook with. You can use it to make delicious desserts. All right. Now, this is about how full you want it. Okay. That looks really, really good. Okay. And then just put it on a full lined um, baking sheet. I mean, cookie sheet right here. And cook it for, uh, I'm going to cook it probably for about 15 minutes, but depends on your oven. And then I might sprinkle some shredded cheese on there too, but just like this is really actually good enough, but I might spread it on a couple just to show y'all. Okay, this is 15 minutes cooking. And I put cheese um, on this one just to show you that you could do that. So, um, you know, it's up to you how you want to do it. But don't this look so delicious. See if I can get it in the plate. There we go. Look at the ham in it, the mushrooms, and the cheese, and all the seasoning in it. And then let me put this one right beside it. And grab a hold of it okay so see they both look pretty good and everything so like I said it's it's your discretion you know if you want to do it like this or just with the cream cheese because both ways taste good and then have some corn on the cob with it that'd be a kind of a healthy meal right there okay you guys um, let me know how you like this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that and punch it and knock it out or whatever that like button. I sure appreciate it. Be blessed and be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.